Here we go then, this is a refresher video, but it's a video for new from many, many people. Now, if you have a look at one simple link, and that is support.google.com. This is the first time I'm doing this on a mobile as opposed to desktop. And there is a reason for that, and that's because it's easy. So if you are already into having a Google account, and I've just read on the YouTube blog that there's 1.9 billion people supposedly on YouTube alone, then we can find that by going to, to repeat, support.google.com, we can have access to all the services you may use and the ones that you may not that you could be interested in. Now the first thing when you get to support.google.com is there are three things I'm going to share with you. Number one is the scroll and that is that if you go from the top you can see there are always 12 lead services that Google stick at the top. You might see the obvious ones like Gmail, YouTube, um, things like Pixel phone are new. Now I don't own a Pixel phone, pretty good chances are that not many people will, in my opinion, compared to a billion odd users. So what I'm getting to is have a look at the the top there, the 12, and say if you use them, fantastic. If you don't, click them and investigate them. For example, Google Photos is a brilliant, brilliant service to back up. Uh, use editing all sorts of different automations with the assistant, yet do you use it? Anyway, moving on. The consumer, in other words, you know, the private individual, shall we say, have got access to about another 75. And sometimes you'll see, for example, YouTube down there is twice. I'm not um, being um, detailed about the numbers. What I'm getting at is if you cast your eyes over any of those, are there any ones that are new to you that you are not sure what they are? If you are not sure, then just tap on this area. I'll put the link in the description box. Then to move this along, you can still investigate all of these. Nick collection is to do with photo editing, so Snapseed. Um, one today. I'm not sure what that actually is. I won't click it now because I'm making this video. Starbucks Wi-Fi, similarly, I know what it is. I'm not sure if it's in the UK. Waze, which is a really good one about um, finding new ways in traffic. Then you can go down. Google Camera. Now that logo's changed. Now I'm learning something already. But to keep this short, Tez, no idea what that is. CS first. Play this as a game. In other words, go through and say, OK, Lots of business things, but you can scroll to the bottom. Have a read yourself. The intention of this video is a refresher on where to find these things. That's part one over. The next one is part two, and that is about the Google G Suite status board. When anything goes down, like Google Docs, Google Drive, whatever happens, people should flock to this because you'll notice that on the right hand side it's completely blank. When something goes wrong, there is a little um, like traffic light system going off in there. You can tap them and then can actually see how the engineers are getting on to resolve something. So you can look down here on the left hand side of all the services. Now, G Suite is huge around the world. There's a good chance that you might work in a system for your business or your corporation using G Suite. That's not to say it is any different from actually using it as a private individual. So let's see for part three. Now, when I go back on this mobile device, he says, look, he has to go back, then I might have to re-enter it, but I know exactly where I'm going. Come on, let's go into support dot google dot com and this will be a very um, nice end to this one because the awareness for you say uh, for you to say getting his words right always mess something up don't I uh, is the one that says useful stuff you can do notice that the URL at the top is get dot google dot com get google.com then you can go down and you can look at all the different things you can do there's lovely lovely one down here because I was reading it earlier in preparation and it's the one um, I'm just going down he says <laughs> recommend it the point of it is that there is one down here it says get your phone ready for your vacation and as if by magic I've actually lost it um, but it doesn't matter. My point is, 
to give you to repeat again get.google.com go down and then look to see what you might like to have a look at 10 tips 10 tips to get the most out of your new phone so if you click it to finish this one you can go down and look at the 10 tips that's it I can't do anything more there because I'm taking your time out I'd rather much rather you actually learn these three things which is support.google.com the google app status dashboard and then get.google.com I put all the links in the box so you can get an idea of actually how to prepare and get the most out of your phone ideal for say looking at this sort of stuff um, on your commute or first thing in the morning last thing at night and just pick them off one by one on my count there's over a hundred and thirty two services from Google that are free that you can use to increase your health well-being productivity call it what you want <laughs>